You know, sometimes life feels more like you're crossing the Sahara Desert. It feels like this long journey over constantly shifting sands where our roadmaps don't always work, and we get stuck, and we get lost, and we chase mirages. And there's so much that's out of our control. I mean, for example, how many of you have ever worked with someone you absolutely could not stand? Sure. How many of you did not raise your hand because that person's sitting next to you? <laughs> it's out of our control. There's so much that we can't plan for. I mean, it's, it's impossible to be totally prepared for everything. I had no idea what to expect in the Sahara. I didn't know what to pack, and I'm a little embarrassed about what I'm wearing in this picture. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm going to, to the Sahara. Well, what would be comfortable? Uh, Really, really, really tight shorts. Yeah, that, that's a ticket. Maybe I'll mug a five-year-old and steal his T-shirt. <laughs> what am I thinking? It's just really hard to be prepared for everything. So then, how do we move forward? You know, how do we move forward successfully and feeling alive when there's so much that's unpredictable? Well, the first rule of desert travel is follow a compass, not a map. And I want to ask you here, why would a map not work all that well in this environment? <laughs> yeah, well, why would this not work here? Yeah, no landmarks. And the terrain is always shifting. And, and just like life, just like your job, the terrain is always shifting. So what we need is a compass, because you see a compass works in any conditions. You probably follow a compass in some areas of your life already. How many of you are parents? Okay, how many of you, when your child was born, mapped out a 20-year plan that you review quarterly to make sure your child is on target? <laughs> I didn't think so. You know, <clears throat> I, I have two kids, and uh, when they were little, the compass I followed was very simple. Two words, be there. I knew that if I was there, if I was present in their lives, everything else would work out. Now that they're teenagers, I have a different compass, but it's still just two words. Avoid them. <laughs> the second rule of desert travel is to stop at every oasis. The oasis is where you can rest up for the next leg of your journey. It's where you can reflect back on where you've been and, and towards where you're heading. At the Oasis, you can connect with other people who are on the same journey that you are on. That's why this conference is an Oasis. This event is an Oasis, because you're connecting with each other. You're on the same journey. And you know what's really cool? Last night when I arrived, I could tell you knew this was an Oasis, because I saw how much you were drinking. <laughs> no, but seriously, seriously, this is an Oasis. It's as important for you and your company to stop at an oasis as it is for travelers in the Sahara Desert. You see, last night you were celebrating, so you're getting re-energized. And you're looking ahead towards the next stage of your journey. And you're sharing information about what you've learned and what to expect. That's an oasis. 